This is a short video demonstrating technique of modifying ophthalmic lenses to prevent contamination and the safe practices to be followed during IDO and slit lamp biomicroscopy examination. As we can see while examining, the lenses come in very close proximity to the nose of the patient. Hence, fomites can settle on the surface and increase the risk of transmission on subsequent examination. Repeated cleaning of the lens is cumbersome and can damage the lens. Hence, following modification is useful. Take a PVC pipe of 2 inch diameter and cut it as shown in the figure with a thickness of approximately 1 inch. Take a transparent plastic sheet of adequate length. Put a strong adhesive on the edges of the cut PVC pipe and keep it over the plastic sheet. Cut the sheet surrounding the pipe. Now take a double sided adhesive tape and cut it into 4 small pieces. Stick the four pieces on the inner side of the pipe, one over the other, as shown in the image. Clean the 20D lens with isopropyl alcohol and a dry tissue paper. Then insert the lens into the cut pipe, keeping in mind that the surface which has to be towards the patient is near the front plastic cover on the pipe. The modified 20D lens is ready to use. A 90D can also be modified in a similar way, using a 1-inch CPVC pipe the only point of difference being, instead of putting two double sided tapes one over the other, only a single layer of tape would suffice. Here we are showing the use of modified lens. The lens is easy to handle. The working distance remains the same for the examiner. And as seen, it gives a good view of the fundus. The modified lens can be easily cleaned with the help of a dry tissue paper and isopropyl alcohol. Now coming to slit lamp biomicroscopy. As you can see, we have put a cling wrap on the lens surface facing the patient so that the front surface has a covering and the back surface is bare. The lens is kept in a box with layer of dry tissue paper underneath. The fungus details are made out quite clearly. This is a picture showing the comparison between the image quality of a 70 adapter lens without and with the front cover. After the examination is over, disinfect the front covered surface with isopropyl alcohol spray. The lens surface is not wiped to avoid any marks. The lens is kept back in the box layered with tissues. As the tissue gets soiled, the topmost tissue can be removed and the process repeated subsequently.